there sharing your guitar guide helping you find your sound today I'm going to show you how to make a B minor chord and stick around because I got three tips on how to make playing this chord easier as a beginner guitar player it's hard to do a B minor chord or any bar chord because the simple fact is your hands are not strong because they haven't built up uh, finger dexterity I'll leave a link to the uh, technique and finger strengthening video. Okay, the B minor chord. We talk about a bar, and what we're doing is we're barring all, we can bar all the strings or bar five strings or as little as two strings. And, um, that's what we're talking about when we're talking about a bar chord. And usually you're going to be using your first finger, but sometimes you might use your third finger to bar some strings. But let me show you the B minor. All right, so we're barring the first five strings on the second fret with your uh, first finger. Your second finger will be on the second string, third fret. Your third finger. It's going to be right here on the 4th string, 4th fret. Right underneath is going to be your pinky at the 3rd uh, string, 4th fret. So that's the B minor. Alright, so as I promised you, three tips to make this chord easier. And um, if you've checked out the channel, or maybe you haven't, have a look around if you like it. Go ahead and subscribe for more guitar tips and tricks. And let me give you these three tips right here to make the B minor chord easier. Alright, the first tip, when you're making the bar chord, you don't want to put your finger flat against the strings. Your fingers kind of bent a little, like this, not straight, but like that. And you're playing on the side of your finger right here. The second tip is when you're making the chord, if your thumb's up here, there's no way that you're going to be making this chord. So bring your finger down, down here to the lower part of the guitar neck. That way you'll have some leverage to push on the strings. And tip number three is you're pressing on your fingers on the strings, but you also need to be pushing your thumb on the back of the guitar all at the same time. So that'll give you a, a clamp on the guitar neck so that you can get all the strings to ring out. So if you learned something today, can you comment, like the video, and share it with your friends. It helps others find the video, and that'll help me out. Thanks.